I've held a basketball when I was really young. Like I had a little a little hoop on the wall, like most kids. I had one of those, but uh, I didn't really start taking it really, really serious till like ninth grade. I started picking it up and messing around with it, I guess, in seventh and eighth. But ninth grade, I was like, yeah, I can really play basketball at some point. Basketball was, uh, it was really fun then. I had a lot of my friends that I made at Eagles Land, and we, we really enjoyed playing basketball with each other. We went, um, we had a pretty good team. We had about six or seven D1 players that all went to college, and we won state my junior year, of course. It was really fun just being around those guys, being coached by, I had a good, great coaching staff. It was just a great experience for me personally. I feel like uh, it helped my game a lot. I remember uh, my official visit. Georgia State was my first official visit. I didn't, um, I didn't think I was gonna come to Georgia State. I had a couple of other schools I thought I was gonna have bigger interest in, but being from Georgia, I wanted to go to you know school in Georgia. So I took the visit to Georgia State. I came in with uh, Jeff. Jeff was on my visit, and I met RJ and uh, Ryan Harrow and all those guys. I kind of uh, remember pickup. I didn't play pickup that day. I was, you know, chilling, trying to see what's going on. But I remember Jeff played, and um, I remember seeing Jeff compete against like RJ and Ryan Harrow, and seeing like, wow, this dude can hoop. You know what I'm saying? Like he, he he's straight. All these other guys, they're pretty good too. Like they got a squad. And coming from a team that just won state, and being around a bunch of guys that all uh, want to compete and get to another level, it just opened my eyes a lot about the school. I remember that, like that spark, like. Yeah, they're trying to win here. I like that. I'm trying to win here. So that kind of helped my decision as far as coming here. It made it real easy for me. I remember that more than anything. My first start? <laughs> yeah, I do remember uh, my first start, actually. It was, uh, I don't know if it was my first start or not, but the first start that I remember was <laughs> sophomore year. He threw me in the lineup and uh, he told me just to do this, this, and this. He told me just play the, way, right, the right way and don't try to do too much or whatever. So um, I went out there, first half, I think I scored the most points in the first half I've ever had since I've been here, like maybe 10, 11 points or whatever. And I just remember seeing his face like, yeah, that's the way you play, that's how you, that's how you come out and start a game. Da, 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 da. And that kind of had me fired up, like, okay, he's rocking with me, he's supporting what I'm doing. But um, it was a great moment for me that in my sophomore year, I feel like. Freshman time was, um, it was pure adrenaline because um, I was 18, I was a kid. The Georgia State Panthers, Sun Belt champions, they'll be dancing in the NCAA tournament next week, 38-36. Being out there in that environment was, uh, was really special, especially from like a small town. Like my town isn't that big, but being out there in front of all those people was definitely exciting. And uh, the second time, I felt like it was more business, like we were out there trying to prove something to the world. Of course it didn't go how we wanted, but I feel like we still got the message across that Georgia State's a great school and we have great players here. <laughs> uh, winning that championship my senior year, I'm not going to lie, that's, <laughs> I feel like that's the highlight of just about everything we've done. People don't know how hard we work. Man, we were in the gym every day, relentlessly. Like we were there all summer. We worked hard in the weight room. We worked hard in practice. We competed. They don't see all the hard work we do. They just see kind of what we do on the court. But there's a lot that goes into that. I feel like we work really hard as a group. And that brotherhood is just something that's gonna keep growing. It's gonna be a trend here at Georgia State, I feel like. And um, I'm just glad I was able to continue that process because it didn't start with me. It just continues on. So I'm excited for that going forward just to see how it all goes here. I was invited uh, with the USA team to go to the Turquoise Invitational. It's this little tournament in Turquoise, France. And um, they asked me like a week after the tournament, do I still want to go? It was kind of quick because we just got done playing. And um, I told them, yeah, I kind of wanted to go. I wanted to see what it was like over there and see, you know, if I'm ready for the to be a pro, I guess. And um, they flew me out there, and as soon as we landed, it was just a whole bunch of like love. Like I, I've seen a lot of love here at Georgia State. Don't get me wrong, but it's it's different when you go to another country and you see, okay, 
you're really like a role model to a lot of people that you, you really have no control over. Like, it was a whole lot of kids and families just excited just to be around. And um, it was a great experience to go over there with a Georgia State shirt on and, you know, show people that we're cool, we're good people. And um, I feel like it went really well on the court and off the court. It definitely taught me a lot about myself and uh, what I want to do going forward. I feel like having a, a brother definitely helped with basketball, more so my younger brother. Um, being my mom's oldest, uh, I kind of wanted to set the right example for him most of the time. So I wanted to be the first one to go to college or the first one to get a scholarship or the first one to graduate college. I wanted to do that. I wanted to be someone that he could look up to, just like I looked up to my older brother. Even though we weren't together all the time, I still looked up to him. So. Um, it was a big thing to have my brother, especially my sister too. She was younger and we kind of butted heads a lot, but uh, it was huge for me to do that. They helped so much. Um, my parents, you know, although we didn't have everything, my parents always made sure I had something. No matter if I was having a good game or a bad game or a bad week, or school was bothering me, whatever it was, I knew I could call my dad and he could talk to me. Even if it wasn't what he wanted to hear, or my mom and they'd talk to me. And I felt like that's big to have people in your corner that support what you're doing and want to help you. <laughs> I call them, we talk every day, just about. But I mean, that's just the kind of relationship we have. Like he's, he's a guy that's always been around anything athletic that I've done, whether it was AU, he coaches now, he coaches my sister now, as a matter of fact. He just loves being around people and helping them. And I feel like um, that kind of has rubbed off on me a little bit as far as just making sure everyone that I like to associate myself with is doing fine. Stay confident in your process. I mean, everyone's process is different, but at the end of the day, if you believe you can do something, it doesn't matter what everyone else thinks. Just go out there and continue to work at what you want to do and push towards your goals, because it was tough at first. <laughs> it was tough at first, but I had to stick through that. You have to stick to what you believe in.